And because of all the rain we've been talking about, the Bosque in Albuquerque and Bernalillo County could reopen soon completely. In fact, we should know this in just a few hours. In both the city and the county, the Bosque has been uh, partly closed for the past two weeks, except for the paved and well-marked dirt paths. Firefighters are set to talk about the Bosque this morning with an announcement at Tingley Beach. We will be there and let you know what they say. Also, because of all the rain, more fire restrictions are being lifted here in New Mexico. Starting at midnight, the restrictions in the Gila National Forest, they have been lifted. And at 8 o'clock this morning, they'll go away in the Santa Fe National Forest as well. And tomorrow, the Carson and Cibola National Forest will lift their fire restrictions. Elizabeth? New this morning, the city of Rio Rancho has no city manager. It's official. James Jimenez is out. Last night, Rio Rancho City Council voted 4 to 2 to ditch the longtime city manager. Now, this comes after three councilors, backed by the Tea Party, called for his removal. The council has not yet appointed a replacement. Well, it is a big decision that falls on Governor Susana Martinez whether or not to expand Medicaid coverage to thousands of New Mexicans. The Supreme Court health care ruling allows states to cut off Medicaid to those now enrolled. It's basically up to each state to decide whether to expand Medicaid coverage to adults who make less than 15 grand a year. In New Mexico, that would make up to 170,000 more people eligible. Now, Martinez claims many of those people are actually healthy, and adding them would mean cutting benefits for others. But the governor isn't completely ruling out expanding coverage just yet. We're going to find a way to pick and choose what is best for the state of New Mexico based on its population and the needs of this population. Many Democrats in the state legislature say an expansion of Medicaid would end up saving taxpayers more money in the long run. This morning, investigators say it could be a serious case of animal abuse as they try to find out if someone poured chemicals on a dog. Now, a warning for you, what you're about to see is graphic and just quite frankly disturbing. A couple found this pit bull this weekend wandering near I-40 in Coors and took her to Animal Humane. Oh my gosh, veterans were able, veterinarians were able to clean out the dog's wounds and find her owner through a microchip. And the owner says the dog has been missing for six months now. My understanding was is that the, the guy thought that they might have been stolen. Um, they had a latched gate, and he went out in the backyard, and this dog and his other dog were gone, and the gate was open. Well, right now, veterinarians don't know if another animal attacked the pit bull, if she ran under something, or if someone abused her. Well, look out for coyotes near the Santa Fe Ski Basin because the State Fish and Game Department is hearing about a lot of attacks there. The latest one happened just on Tuesday morning where the Santa Fe New Mexican is reporting that someone was walking a yellow lab when a coyote attacked the dog's face and leg. The dog should be okay. And you might remember, more than a week ago, a coyote attacked this woman's dog in the same area and even chased them for a bit. Both are staying away from the ski basin, but they are okay. A traffic heads up for you this morning. The Rio Grande Gorge Bridge on Highway 64 is closed right now. The bridge, which is about eight miles northwest of Taos, was completely shut down, so crews can finish up some heavy construction there. It'll be back open at 7 a.m. and then close. It'll close once again tonight and open back up at 7 Friday morning. Now construction should be finished there later this month. 5:36 is now the time. So earlier this week we showed you. Some ways you can save money on your water bill. Well, we found one more way. And it's all about the trees in your yard. News 13's David Romero is live in southwest Albuquerque. So, David, tell us, how can we save? Well, that water utility authority officials say that trees provide a lot of benefits for the yard, which may require water to maintain. They can now help you take care of those trees. It's a brand new program this year offered by the Albuquerque Bernalillo County Water Utility Authority, and it's called Tree Baits. Uh, to try to encourage folks to get out and uh, do proper tree maintenance to make sure that their trees can survive in our, uh, you know, in our desert climate. They need, some of them need some special care. Since we're in such a dry climate, water officials say the trees can provide shade and other environmental benefits that can help save water in yards. Nice shade tree is going to provide shade for your house. You're going to have to use your swamp cooler less. That's going to be less water that you're going to use. Going to shade your yard, that's going to be less water that your other plants are going to need. The benefits on your bill could come in the form of 25% back of the cost for equipment, fertilizer, or professional care to take care of your trees. 
The maximum rebate for residential customers is $100. For all others, it can be up to $500. We really want to encourage people to get out and, and take, take good care of them because uh, the, the tree cover in Albuquerque has been shown to actually be diminishing. A recent study shows that the Albuquerque area has lost about 2.7% of the total tree canopy cover from 2006 to 2009. Water officials are counting on this helping hand to stop that loss and maybe bring some trees back. And just a reminder, water officials want to stress that the rebates are not for the removal of trees from your yard. Matt, back to you. Of course not. We want to add more trees, not take them away. Thank you for that information, David. We'll have a link to the rebate form on our website a little bit later today. Just click the morning tabs at krqe.com. You can also call the rebate hotline. That number is 768-3655.